Today on Judge Porter. All rise. You're suing to gain access to the defendant's Wi-Fi passcode? Well, as far as I'm concerned, when she blasts her music and I hear it across the hallway, I have to be subjected to it. Well, he knocks on my door at all hours of the day and night. All rise. Donald Judge Porter is presiding. Court is now in session. Good morning, everyone. Please have a seat. Ah, oh, that's it. Jeff, good morning. How's it going, brother? Everything's good. Everything's good. Let's see what we got today. Uh, we have case number 2993, Rick Connors versus Jennifer Everett. Can you guys please come to the podium list? Mm -hmm. Erickson. Connors, good morning, sir. I see here that you are, you're suing to gain access to the defendant's Wi-Fi passcode? And That's right, Your Honor. Um, please, tell us what's going on with that. Well, uh, I've been living across the hallway uh, from, uh, from, from Jennifer for about two years now. Okay, when you say live across the hallway, is this, a, I'm assuming this is like an apartment or a condo? Condo. Okay, all right, please continue. And uh, I've been uh, happily using her uh, uh, internet signal uh, without any problems. And uh, up until uh, recently, uh, I come to find out there was a password put on it and I went to across the hall to, uh, to ask Jennifer uh, nicely uh, several times for the password, uh, but uh, she keeps on refusing. Okay, let me ask you. Um, um, so y you've been using her Wi-Fi pass code? For no how pass. Long? For how long? Wi-Fi uh, for two years. Two for, for the past two years? Okay. Did she know that you were using this, this her pass? Well, I just thought she did because, uh, you know, especially at the point where I asked for the password, but... No, 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 sir. What I'm asking you is prior to you asking for the password itself, the Wi-Fi password, did she have knowledge that you were using it? Did you tell her, oh, by the way, I'm going to be using your... I didn't say anything, no. You never said anything. Okay, let me ask you this. How did you know that it was her password, uh, Wi-Fi password that you were using? I mean, the, her Wi-Fi that you were using, sir. The name of the network was Everett Wi-Fi, so, you know. Ah, oh, and she lives across the, the hall, and you put two and two together. Ma'am, were you aware that he was using your Wi-Fi? No, Your Honor. I only became aware that someone was using my Wi-Fi when the bills started going up exponentially. Hmm. Okay. Um, and when he came to you and says, I need your Wi-Fi password, how did you react or respond to that? I politely told him that I could not give that to him because it was getting too high and getting out of my price range. I started my bill at about $100 a month, which I thought was fairly reasonable. And then it skyrocketed to $150 a month. Okay. Um, Mr. Khan, did she tell you about the cost of her Wi-Fi bill? Yes. Did you, since you wanted to use it, did you offer to maybe pay for it or pay a fraction of it? Did you, any of that? Well, as far as I'm concerned, when she blasts her music and I hear it across the hallway, I have to be subjected to it. To me, that's payment enough. Okay, I understand that. But, sir, when Miss Everett told you how much her bill was, did you say, I understand, I will pay your Wi-Fi bill, or I'm willing, since I'm using it, I'm willing to pay a fraction of it? That would be a yes or no question, sir. No. No, and why not? Well, I just figured, uh, you know, if I have to hear her music, you know, and it drifts across the hall, it's kind of like the radio the signal, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the, the airwaves belong to the people. The airwaves belong to the people, so you're entitled to the airway of her Wi-Fi coming from her home. Okay, are you aware of the fact that in order for her music to work, that she probably has to use some type of electricity to operate whatever device she's using to pay I mean, to allow that music to play. Are you aware of that? Yes. Are you aware of the fact that there's probably that same electricity that's being used to, uh, to put her Wi-Fi system into, into the waves, as you put it? Yes, Your Honor. Are you paying for the electricity inside of her home? No. 
So how are you entitled to anything that's coming from her residence if you're not paying for anything? I'm, I'm confused on that. Well, the radio signal come from the router comes across the hallway. It's already there. But you're not paying for the electricity that causes, that allows her to use whatever system she's using to make that music possible. You're just benefiting from it. Well, I don't benefit from the music, but that's, but that's another story. Okay. Um, let me ask you this, ma'am. Um, you said he came over and he won, he, did he demand or something you yes. said? Yes, yes, Your Honor. I, I told him once, I told him, I said, I, I'm sorry, I cannot give you it. Uh, if you're not going to pay for my, my Wi-Fi, I cannot give you the passcode for it, which I thought was fairly reasonable. And now he's started to harass me about it. What do you mean by harass? How is he harassing you? Well, he knocks on my door at all hours of the day and night, and, and he leaves. Um, I brought some notes that he's left for Jeff, me. can you get those notes for me? I want to see what, what, what she has. These two. He leaves them on my door, so when I go out, I this come This was left with your them. door? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Connor, tell me if this sounds familiar. I want the Wi-Fi password, young lady. Did you write that? It sounded better in my head. I have another one. Jennifer, I have an important project for work due tomorrow. My job rests on this project. I need my Wi-Fi back. Thanks, Rick. My Wi-Fi? The yes, same Wi-Fi that she's paying for. The same Wi-Fi that she's paying the electricity for. Yes, you're sure. saying, now you're saying it's mine. Like, you own it. No. Mr. Connors, that is not how this works. You have a job, I'm assuming, because you said that you have your job, Russell, on this project. You have a job? Yes, Your Honor. You get paid nicely? I'm assuming this condo that you guys live in is a very nice place? It is a lovely place. I do like living there. Yes. Okay, uh, and so you have no problem paying your mortgage there at your condo? No, Your Honor. So why won't you just buy your own Wi-Fi service and stop leeching off this young lady's service? You can get your own. Am I correct in saying that? It's true. And why are you, did you say he was knocking on your door or something like that? Yes, yes, Your Honor. I, I, from 7 o'clock at night to 2 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. 2 o'clock in the morning? Yes. 2 o'clock in the morning? Is that true, Mr. Connors? Yes, Your Honor. Die. How do you justify knocking on somebody's door at two o'clock in the morning for anything that's not an emergency? If it's an emergency, call the Mango Park Police Department. The music, did you call the Mango Park Police Department about that? No, Your Honor. Did you get in contact with the Condo Association about the music? Yeah, they said they couldn't help. Okay, this is what I'm gonna recommend. I'm gonna recommend that your request, first off, your request for the, the, the password is denied. Um, and for her Wi-Fi, the password, that's denied. If you want Wi-Fi, I'm going to recommend that you buy your own. Get your own little setup, whoever your carrier service is, have them set up. Maybe they can get you a, bon a bundle for your phone, your TV, whatever is inside of your place. Get your own, okay? Now... I'm also going to grant her a temporary restraining order against you. That means no more leaving notes on her door. That means no more knocking on her door. Not at 7 o'clock in the morning, not at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, not at 2 o'clock at night. Am I making myself clear? If yeah. she tells me that she has been, that, that uh, restraining order has been violated in any form, shape, or fashion, I will have the Mango Park Police Department drag you in here, and we will have this conversation again. Am I making myself clear, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Good. Your case is dismissed. Thank have a you, nice Your day. Honor. Where's the taxpayer in one class? Just stay with you, okay? I vehemently disagree with the judge. I think his, his ruling stinks. I'm entitled to that password. I'm not going to pay for internet. 
I'm very happy with the judge's decision um, to give me a temporary restraining order against Mr. Connors. It's just been such a stressful ordeal these past two years with the increase in my, my Wi-Fi bill and then with the notes and the knocking, I've gotten barely any sleep. So I'm very happy with this decision by, by the judge.